astronomers, stargazers and sky enthusiasts everywhere are in for a treat this month, as comet Shushin Shan Atlas is now visible as a naked eye object, low on the horizon just after sunset. And the good news is that if you haven't been lucky enough to view this comet in the last few days, don't worry, as the comet will gain prominence as October rolls on, becoming higher and higher in the sky just after sunset for prolonged periods as the month rolls on. And if you are looking after sunset tonight, there is about a 90 minute window to observe the comet looking west, dragging southwest towards the horizon. Wait to hear this, dubbed the Comet of the Century by astronomers. And this comet won't be visible for another 80,000 years according to astronomers. It's going to be visible all month long and on the 28th of October it might be visible in the daylight hours as it reaches perihelion with the sun. Some researchers are suggesting that the close proximity of this object might interact with our planet and cause events like earthquakes and other natural events due to the charged interactions with our planet. While debris from this comet is not expected to create any meteor showers, auroral density and geomagnetic effects have been predicted. Officially designated as C2023A3, and this is probably due to the tongue twisting nature of the name Comet Shushin Shan Atlas. This has captured the imagination of astronomers and stargazers alike. Dubbed the Comet of the Century, this celestial visitor promises a spectacular display in the night sky. Comet Shushin Shan Atlas will be visible from both the northern and southern hemispheres, although the best view just now is from the southern hemisphere. But as the comet moves, it will become more visible in the Northern Hemisphere. Observers in the UK, for example, have already reported sightings, and the comet will be visible until the end of October. As we mentioned, the best time to view Comet Shushin Shan Atlas is just after sunset. For those in the Northern Hemisphere, looking towards the southwest will provide the best chance to spot this comet. The comet's position will change slightly each night, so it is advisable to check local astronomical guides for precise directions and times. The app, Stellarium, is probably your best bet. It has earned the title of the Comet of the Century due to its exceptional brightness and visibility. Such comets are rare, with this one being visible for the first time in 80,000 years. Its brightness and the fact that it can be seen with the naked eye make it a once in a lifetime event for many people all around the world. This comet is significant, not only for its visibility, but also for its origins. This comet comes from the Oort cloud. This is a distant region of our solar system. This is a hypothetical place in space that is not observable to telescopes. And get this, no direct observation of the Oort cloud has ever taken place no direct observation of the Oort cloud is possible with present imaging technology. This comet's journey towards the Sun and its subsequent visibility from Earth provide valuable data for scientists studying the early solar system. There is no scientific evidence to suggest that the comet will trigger earthquakes or other natural events. Researchers and astronomers have stated that the gravitational influence of this comet is negligible compared to that of large celestial bodies like the Moon or the Sun. Comet Shushin Shan Atlas offers a rare and beautiful spectacle in the night sky. Its visibility from both hemispheres, combined with its historical significance and the scientific insights it provides, makes this object a noteworthy event to try and observe. While it's not thought that this comet will cause natural disasters, it will undoubtedly inspire awe and wonder amongst those who take the time to observe it. So if you do have the chance, make sure to look up and witness this extraordinary comet just after sunset before it disappears for another 80,000 years. But what do you guys think about this? Comments below. And as always, thank you. 
for watching.